Hello, today we are going to review another video card based on GPU AMD Radeon R9 380X, which has all the chances to become a new market leader in the medium price segment. The new product has managed to get into the niche where it almost has no rivals. Let us remind you that at the moment the average price range of video cards is ending somewhere $250-$260 dollars, and the highest level is starting at $318-$390. Dollars. As a result we have a vacant segment between $260 and $360, which would be occupied by solutions based on AMD Radeon R9 380X. The video card GeForce JTX 960T from NVDA might become a worthy response to this, however its announcement has not yet taken place. Naturally, many of AMD partners have been quick to an advantage of the situation by releasing their own versions of the new product, and Asus modification has become one of them. The video card is supplied in a carton box decorated in the traditional style of Asus Trick series featuring the key advantages of the new product. Apart the graphics card inside, we have also found a power supply adapter from a single 8-pin PCIe jack to two 6-pin jacks, a user manual and a CD with software and drivers. There is also a bonus, a card describing activation of presents for the World of Warships game, a premium cruiser Diana and a premium account for 15 days. Externally, the new product has an insignificant difference relative to other representatives of ASUS Trix line. At the front it is covered with a large plastic casing with holes for two 95mm fans and with a metal plate at the back side. The graphics adapter covers two slots for expansion cards in the computer case. For this model, they have developed an original circuit board with enhanced 8-phase power subsystem, six of which are used for the GPU voltage inverter. Other competitive solutions usually have one phase less. Functioning of PWM controllers is implemented by combination of two chips. They support a software vault modification and provide compatibility with the most of the modern overclocking utilities. Video memory subsystem with a total capacity of 4 GB is built with the help of 8 chips, which effective speed is 5700 MHz. This is a completely referenced performance, so let's better get to the graphics core, as it already has a factory overclocking. The GPU frequency was increased from standard 970 MHz by 60 MHz or plus 6.1%. By selection of OS profile, the speed would be slightly higher, 1050 MHz, which will give 2% more to the nominal frequency. Extra power is supplied by two 6-pin PCIe slots. However, the location is not very optimal as the heat pipe passing nearby slightly hinders fitting of the appropriate connectors. There are four ports for picture displaying – DVI-I, DVI-D, HDMI and DisplayPort. The main element of the cooling system is a massive radiator made by technology ASUS Direct CU2, which involves direct contact of heat pipes with GPU crystal. Radiator plates are pressed onto pipes, but not soldered. Heat removal is also ensured by the rear metal plate and by a small radiator covering power elements of the power converter circuit. And cooling of the memory chips is carried out by means of airflow from the supplied fans only. The GPU heated up to 69 degrees by automatic speed control of the fan blades and at maximum load. This figure is higher compared with some other opponent solutions, but it would be fair to know that the fan rotation in the tested sample is much slower compared to the most of its analogs. 1200 rounds per minute versus 2000 to 2600 rounds per minute. This makes it one of the most quiet graphics cards built on the basis of R9 380X. At idle mode the fans stop spinning. Here with the GPU temperature is quite acceptable and reaches 48 degrees. As it was mentioned at the beginning of the review, Asus Trix R9-380X has no direct competitors on the market, so we have selected the nearest models from medium and upper price ranges for the comparison. We would propose to start our result analysis with the cheaper solutions. Radeon R9-380 and GeForce JTX 960 could not get close to the tested product, which cost makes about $300. 
In the first case the backlog might about 9% and in the second one 11% on average. It means that they can hardly be called a more optimal purchase based on price features indicator. A similar conclusion can be made comparing Asus Trix R9-380X with top models based on Radeon R9-390 and GeForce GTX 970. Surely, they are significantly faster, approximately by 32 and 29 percent respectively, but they are much more expensive starting from $380 and higher. It would have been ideal to compare the new product with its previous version, the model AMD Radeon R9 280X, but unfortunately we had no such card in stock. But we have found AMD Radeon HD 7970, which is almost its complete copy. As a result, a direct comparison of our review hero and of HD 7970 has resulted in a backlog of the latter by 7% on average and the speed performance difference was reaching 15% in some modern games and benchmarks. Herewith, the system with ASUS Trix R9-380X was consuming less from 40 to 70 watts by load. The tested video card has the unlocked parameter, which is responsible for the voltage raise and allowing a higher level for implementation of overclocking potential of GPU AMD Antigua XT. Starting from the normal 1030 MHz, the GPU speed has increased by 150 MHz, which corresponds to an increase of 14.6%. The result looks very good compared to other models that have already been in our lab. As far as the memory concerned, it has been possible to overclock it to 6484 MHz. We should know that during overclocking, the GPU voltage fluctuated between 1100 to 1288 mV, while the nominal range was 1100 to 1148 mV. Also, we had to set the power target parameter the maximum level, which controls the maximum affordable power consumption of the graphics card. During the testing, the fan speed was possibly fixed at the maximum level. The temperature of the graphics processor has made 63 degrees at 100% load. Productivity gain reached almost 9% after manual parameter setting, which is a good result for a video card claiming to be a new leader in the middle price segment. First of all, ASUS Trix R9-380X is attracting attention due to its sound ratio of possibilities and consumer qualities. On the other hand, it is faster by 9-11% than the leading products of the middle segment, Radeon R9-380 and GeForce GTX 960, and, on the other hand, its cost is only $40-$50 to $50 more. Also, having a good overclocking potential allows a slight improvement of price-performance ratio of the video card. To implement this overclocking potential, they have designed this transit VRM unit and have created the license utility with the unlocked parameter responsible for the GPU power supply voltage. Apart, we should also mention the cooling system, in which the main emphasis is on the low noise level. Yes, we had to sacrifice a little its performance efficiency, but during PC operation, ASUS Trix R9-380X is almost silent against the other system components, and the video card fans are no longer rotating at low load levels. As a result, this model can be recommended to all users willing to get a faster solution in comparison with R9-380 and GTX 960, but not having a possibility to pay $80 to $100 more for R9-390 or GTX 970. Best regards and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!